Hi, I'm Corey Blakeborough with SSP Innovations, and I'm here today to show you how to use your utility network data to create a load summary report off of your electric network. Keep in mind as we go through this that you can use this functionality to analyze your data in a lot of different ways, all geared toward keeping your networks healthy. So some exciting news here. Uh, we're going to be running this demo in the new beta one release of the utility network, and we're going to run off of published services as well. So right now we're viewing the entire electric network. So we want to analyze one specific circuit and uh, that's modeled as a sub network here in the utility network data model. So the first thing that we want to do here is find our circuit breaker. We're going to use the out of the box select by attributes tool to find it in this demo. We're going to specify the circuit breaker as the layer name. And here in the expression, we're going to add a where clause. It's important to note here that we want to search based on what's called the sub network name. Now, if you've been paying attention to our previous videos, you might already know that in an electric network using utility network, the sub network name also corresponds to the circuit name or the feeder ID. So if we plug in the feeder ID here for our sub network name and add that as a where clause, when we run this tool, it will actually go ahead and select our one feature, which will be our circuit breaker for the RMT001 circuit. Since it's completed successfully, we can go take a look at where that feature is. So it's over here at the south side substation. Now we're going to go ahead and set that circuit breaker as the starting point for a trace. The idea here is that we're going to run a subnetwork trace to select all of the features in our circuit. So in order to run the trace, we're going to have to set our starting trace location. So we'll go over here to our trace locations pane. From here, we're going to load our selected features in. That'll populate our circuit breaker here as a starting point. We're going to change the terminal from source to load. It's indicating that we're going to trace from the load side of the circuit breaker instead of the source side. And we're going to run our geoprocessing tool. So we have a specific model built out already to kind of simplify some components of the subnetwork trace. So we can just hit it, click run, and it'll specify the necessary parameters in the back end for an electric trace. Saves us a little bit of time. We'll go ahead and hit run here. So as you can see, we've selected 8,848 features back. So let's uh, take a look at all these features. So as you can see, these selected features can represent the extent of our subnetwork or our circuit. So at this point, what we want to do is go over to our contents pane and expand this distribution device group layer. We're looking for the service point layer that represents that asset group in the utility network. And we're going to right click that under create chart. We're going to create a bar chart. So over here in our chart panel, we want to create a load summary report. So we're going to go ahead and choose the category based on that criteria. So we're going to select phases normal as our category. Uh, aggregation of count works exactly for what we need. So pretty much everything there is as we need it to be. So after we enter in all of our variables here, you can see that a chart actually has already been populated for us, showing us the counts of each service point grouped by their phase. This is exactly what we want for our load summary report. We can do a couple extra things with it at this point. If we go back over here to our chart pane in the general tab, you can change a couple of different aspects of the chart. So I'm going to go ahead and call it the load summary report. And you can see here that it changes down there in the report automatically. We'll keep everything else the same for now. Now I have my load summary report ready and available for use within ArcGIS Pro. It's worth mentioning that you can also export this report to an image file to do things like print or email or anything you need to do with that analysis. So it's worth noting that the charting functionality that we used here today is not necessarily specific to a utility network. It's actually usable throughout ArcGIS Pro. So what I want you to focus on here is how easily the utility network was able to provide us with this data. The information was right at our fingertips. Essentially what you should think about here is how this data, how utility networks functionality can help enable you to understand your data and your networks better. 
Hopefully that helps. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.